Usually when you consider a game a masterpiece, it has to check off four boxes. Gameplay, graphics, story, and sound. Gameplay includes how exciting the game is and if it's really worth your money. Graphics show how pleasing the game is to the eyes and can show the individuality of a game. A story can simply tell the basic relationship between two characters or a complex relationship between a mother and daughter or father and son. Either which, a story is key for telling your audience about what's going on and why they should care about it. Sound is a very important tool for storytelling or any kind of media, due to the fact that sound, design, and music elicit different emotional responses from the consumer. If a game can check off all four of these boxes, then congrats, you just found a game you're going to substantially enjoy playing. The game I stumbled across, called A Short Hike, is one of those games. It checks off all the boxes and is insanely fun. This game is similar to Animal Crossing, but in a very different way. Yes, you have animals with that well-known Animal Crossing 8-bit voice. Yes, you have a really cheerful environment. However, all of it feels new. I'm glad it's not a complete replica of Animal Crossing, even if it was, I probably still would have a lot of enjoyment out of it. Nevertheless, this game is more entertaining due to the fact everything in the game feels so unique, yet so familiar. Maybe it's just my nostalgic talking, but this game is as exciting and breathtaking as Animal Crossing, possibly even more. The gameplay is relatively similar to Animal Crossing in the way you interact with the residents of the town, learn about their interests, do a few odd jobs for them, and maybe even become friends with them. Of course, there is the main objective, which is stated simply in the title. You are hiking, more specifically, to the top of a mountain to get phone reception. It sounds like a simple, boring task, but with the variety of characters, side quests, and challenges along the way, it makes the game more than endearing to pick up. Even playing the game through a second time is just as enjoyable as the first. However, the game plays in the forefront of the entire experience, mostly everything else overshadows it, which is fine when the creators are using the medium to first and foremost to tell a story. So not having revolutionary gameplay isn't that big of an issue because it doesn't need it. I do have to give props to the open world feel of the game because that's the first thing that blew me away. Finding secret passageways to better areas, collecting coins, and finding creative ways to obtain certain objectives has its perks. Do you remember the graphics of the 3DS? Retro like just barely breaking the boundary of the 3D games of the mid-2000s and early 2010s. Yeah, that's basically a short hike's visuals in a nutshell. Now, I'm not saying they're simply good on a nostalgic level because I don't really like giving games a certain treatment based on my own uncommon biases. These visuals look like they've had a lot of effort and love put into them, and the only thing I can do about that is just to be simply awed at how much work was put in it. Even though the game was only made by one person, you can tell how much passion he has for his work. I'm not even counting the detail and variety of character designs in the game. Each sprite has a similar yet different aesthetic, but they all fit into this luscious and sweet environment. The artwork for this game has spun to the point where there's over a hundred separate pieces of fan art of this oddly intrinsic world. And like I stated previously, this game doesn't need to win me over by nostalgia. Its creativity and sense of wonder have on their own. When playing the game, it initially doesn't seem like it has a story, but when the story does eventually reveal itself, it's a heart-wrenching one, especially since you don't expect it. To be frank, the story is a very important element in this game. It makes every action you do feel more significant than just randomly doing objectives. The ending ties everything into a neat little bow which in turn makes the story worthwhile and the gameplay feel unsatisfying. The entire adventure of hiking up one hill feels gratifying because of the people you meet and the ending of a truly spectacular experience, and it's especially hard to explain a story without trying to spoil it. The best thing to do is just to jump into the game with the element of the unknown. That way, when the ending does come, it's just as unexpected as it is tear-jerking. The music in this game is probably a big reason why I felt so much passion and emotion towards the ending. The story leading up to the ending was excellent, but the music leading up to the ending was pure perfection. 
It's like adding a cherry on top of another cherry. It adds another sweet spot and emotional connection to the player. The music conveys many feelings that I cannot describe. The soundtrack made by Mark Sparlin is the kind you would play if you were feeling sad or lonely. It just feels wonderful to listen to and has a motivational push on everything this game tries to teach us. Like how we should go beyond our comfort zones and experiment with new things. In our main character's case, going out and enjoying conversations with people, helping them with certain tasks, spending time with them, and most importantly, learning how to comfort people. The music conveys all these kinds of emotions, and that's why it fits perfectly with the game and its message. Once you meet your end goal, and that beautiful harmony of a piano starts to play, you remember all the things that brought you here. Everyone you talked to, everyone you helped, everyone who made your day, and you making their day. Saying the music in this game is wonderful would simply be an understatement, because the soundtrack and the game are truly a masterpiece. Sorry I've been gone for so long, <laughs> I just need to take a break and relieve myself of stress, but I'm back in better shape, so I'm hoping to jump back on my schedule of maybe monthly uploads and the occasional two videos in one month schedule, but I'm not too sure. Um, I have quite a lot of video ideas planned for you guys, and I want to have free time to enjoy making them while also pleasing you guys, so videos might take longer than expected, but... Thank you guys so much once again for the support you've given me. It has been truly amazing having you guys as an audience, and I'm glad to be back. Number one thing though, be safe from Corona. Just wash your hands a lot. Uh, make sure to save on paper towels. Don't be a hoarder and take a lot of paper towels. But yeah, just be safe from Corona. Um, Preserve on stuff, but don't hoard stuff, and yeah, just stay safe. Anyway, see you guys later.